Hi folks, I'm Nathan with Two Guys Are Ride, and today we're here at the Apple Ford Shakopee uh, car dealership, and we are here with Doug. And Doug has uh, a 1984, five, 85, uh, five-liter Mustang convertible. And uh, I, I gotta say, this is this one's. Uh, Something that I recognize, I mean, my, my first Mustang was an 89, sure. which of course had changed some of the body style, but it still had the square lines yep. and looked a lot like this in sure many, did. many respects. So, you know, Doug, when you, when you bought this, why did you choose to get a Mustang and a, and a five liter? Why did not get some other classic car? Uh, well, actually I bought this new. Did you really? Right out of school, yep, yep. Uh, I had, wow. to, had to make it to work every day. <laughs> <laughs> and I had a 1973 Pinto wagon I had to replace. Well, this was a real upgrade. It was quite an upgrade, yeah. <clears throat> wow. Um, and I've always liked Mustangs. So, okay. Yeah. So then you went for the five liter, which is five a, which liter, good yep. choice if you're going to look for some longevity. Right, true. My, my first 89 was the <clears throat> four cylinder. Ah. Not, a good car, it was just not a lot of power. Right. right. Uh, okay, so uh, you bought this brand new. You've had it for, wow, that's incredible. Mm -hmm. And 35 the years. patina on the paint is pretty much original, I'm going to guess. It is. It is. It's in it, very good shape. What did Ford call this color? This is Canyon Red. Canyon, Canyon Red. Canyon Red, yeah. Uh, actually, they're out of a repaint because of a fender bender. Okay. On that back panel. Okay. And on the other side, side too. Well, they did a nice job matching yep. it. Yeah. Well, it was, it was like two months old. <laughs> <laughs> when it oh, happened. at the time, so they, when they were, so okay. the paint was still wet, wet anyway. So now, what, some some of the difference between you know the the, the five liter the, the, the GT, uh -huh. and they didn't put the GT badge on these. They just called the but the five old badge. Right. But your rims were always different than yeah. the than the V6s or, or the the four cylinders. Uh -huh. um, so yeah, I, I always liked these. Uh -huh. I always like all the little holes. I, you know, kind of like the half moons you yeah, had yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah, pretty wheels. Um, and then, of course, you had the GT badging back here on right. the plastic, just not up in the not front. Not there, yeah. I don't know what year they started that, but for a number of years where they just ran the 5.0 for the size of the yeah, engine. Yeah, and uh, I actually have a newer car, too, that has a 5.0. It this, still has a 5.0 on it, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, let's, let's walk around sure. the back for a minute. One of the things that I like about these older Mustangs is I like the tail lights. Uh -huh. I think I, I think it's the tricolor part. Sure. The uh, the the 89s were a little shorter. They shortened them up so mm -hmm. they weren't quite as big. Yep. But uh, now um, you have a, a decent amount of storage in your trunk. It's not, not huge, yeah. but yeah. it's probably a. I can put a folding chair in there and, right. and a bunch of stuff like that. Yeah. I know we used ours and we drove it all year long and, right. and we, we could fit. Couple duff, you know, short yep. duffel bags sure. in there for you know, and then of course we'd pack the back seat. Yep. Um, what I think is interesting back here is that you know your your uh, cover for your top mm -hmm. is this magnetic? No, it's it's all plastic inserted. It slots and it around slots here. around here. Yeah, it's actually very difficult to put on. <laughs> so. Well, I uh, and, and that's a little different from yeah. mine. When we did ours, this you know must have changed. I really like the way yours wraps around. It's ours, very tight. Yeah. Ours came almost just right to the edge, and you can uh -huh. still see the black trim. So you're really kind of protecting your trim because it does fade, doesn't it? It does. It, it does. really fades. Every, everything fades in the so, convertible. The um, uh, yes. Do do you ever put the top up, or does the top kind of just stay down? Uh, I put it up most of the time. Oh really? But I drive it with it down. Okay, so it's functional. Yeah. And it's a hydraulic motor in the yeah, back that runs easy, everything. Yeah. Uh, I basically, you have to set the handbrake, and you'll have some um, switches in the roof. You got to pull yep. here yep. to get the uh, things to release, and then there's a button to. Yep, it's it's. I can do it from the driver's seat, but I have to jump out to fold it a little bit. Okay, at the back. Okay, yeah. and I, I I just and do that. And that may just because of its age, but or did you have to do that always? Well, I've always done that. Maybe I didn't really have to, but I just thought it would fold nicely if I did, if yeah. I helped it. If you helped it a little yeah. bit. Okay, on the inside you have cloth seats, and I, I, you have you had them reupholstered? I have not. No. Wow, wow, yeah. that is really good Very shape. Very good shape. Uh, you can see the. This side's, you know, the edges are a little grayed out because of the sun. This must be garaged. Yes, it is. It is garaged uh, since maybe after the second year I had it. It's been okay. garaged since. Uh, and and that does, it hasn't seen winters either since maybe the fifth year. Okay. Because I can tell you my 2000 looked a lot more faded than this yeah. does. And this is a lot older than that. Yeah. It's got 85,000 miles. So okay. it's a decent time out in the sun. And 
elements. Uh, and you had the, uh, you must have the upgraded seats with the ability to pull the forward uh, thigh it, it does, adjustment it does there. have a knee adjustment. I yeah. don't know if it's upgraded or not. I bought it off the lot. Right. Came as it As, as it, it was equipped. Yeah. Yep. And then, of course, you did have, uh, this has, actually has, aha, manual windows. Yes. Boy, <laughs> exactly. we haven't seen that in ages. That's right. Yep. That's what this little handle is for. That's right. That, that was, I think electric was an option, of course, but this did not have it. And now this must have been a replacement handle on this side. It is, it's actually not. It is. That's the original well, handle. So the other three have been replaced. Uh, no, they are. That's how it came from the factory. Really, one <laughs> silver, one black. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. Just in case you could, just well, I know there's three black, but in the, just uh, talk yeah. about the back row. They um, must have been worried people wouldn't know their rights from their lefts or something. <laughs> I guess. Roll right. down the silver one. All right, so yeah, so yeah we're out. Of, Isn't it so, interesting the little quirks we find in manufacturing exactly. over the mm -hmm. years? Wow. Um, of course, you had the the, the the you know the nice head support up here, mm -hmm. um, and uh, oh wow, your mirrors, your your visors, mine get so faded in the sun there. That's that's really neat. Mm -hmm. All right, and it came with a so everything else in the interior is stock, right? Right. So you notice the cassette deck player. Exactly. I, I'm not sure if it still works. I'll I, bet you it does. Uh, yeah. The uh, and then of course what I get a kick of is um, with things for at the time were just like wow this is really cool. It it's was. kind of flashbang stuff. It but was. you've got a clock over here. You got date, and you've got uh, time, and then you have got e time. I, I just love how large the buttons are and the screen, and it does three things. Yeah, so there's no menus to go through. Right, and then, and then, of course, you did have a little electronic screen yep. that would do a couple of things for you. I think, actually, they were to tell you if lights. your brake lights, it, it's it, all had to do with lights. Lights, exactly. Your lights on or is one of your lights out, it'll, it'll flash. It'll, it'll tell up. you if it, if the light's out. But, right. I mean, all the little things, you know, from, from the... From yeah, the that's early '80s. That you know. That seemed really cool back then. Right. Yep. Now, did the car have cruise control? Yes, it does. Okay, yep. and that was still mounted on the steering yes, wheel. Yes, it's on the steering wheel there. And you probably had about seven buttons to run it. Well, I think because right. you don't have volume control. No, no, nothing like that. No, yeah, um, no radio controls. On no, the no wheel. radio control. So <laughs> there are there are one, two, three, four, five buttons, and they yeah. all have to do is cruise control. I believe so. Yeah. And. Uh, that was pretty neat at the time, uh, yes, it you know. Was. And then you have, of course, the. It is not a telescoping wheel, but there's a little dial to take so you can bend the steering wheel and back down. and forth. Right. Okay. Can we open up the hood? Sure. All right. Now, finally, an engine that looks like it's been driven. <laughs> it has. All day long, we've been looking at <laughs> engines that <laughs> look like we're this just got the prettiest engine. <laughs> some, but it works. It does. It it runs great. Um, uh, there, there, there was a quite a good little. Well, I don't want to say a little, but it was a good engine from mm -hmm. Ford. Um, uh, anyways, so, you know, you had your air cleaner under here, yep. which was, you know, you had to spin it off and it would come off in a big round piece. Um, they were a lot easier to get out than the yes. current ones are, I'll tell you that. Um, and so nothing up here has been added or modified. This nope. is just this the, is stock. the original stock. This is um, a, and, and at the time, how many, uh, about how many horsepower would it This was produced? rated about 185, I believe. This was, I think, the first year they really started using the fuel injection. Okay. And actually, this was derated from the carbureted version, um, the, okay. because they wanted to get better fuel mileage. You know, the corporate f fuel mileage they kind of derated this one a little bit to, to pad their fuel mileage. Well, you know, it, it's just I'm chucking to myself because you were saying five liter V8, yeah. 185 know, horsepower. We got four <laughs> cylinders that'll do that and more. I know. Um, of course, it, you know, but the you back know, then between back you know, back then this was this was hot. Yes, it was. Um, which is just, I mean, it's just kind of interesting to see how far we've come with that. Right. But it's also really neat to see a piece of history mm -hmm. that's still functioning, being used every day and being used as a normal car. Yep. It, uh, it runs great by Storton Winters, starts up first thing in the spring and, and you drive uh, it all the summer long. Summer, yeah. Wow. Even, even your, uh, uh, hood baffle here, mm -hmm. it must be original. Yep. Everything's original. That's really in good shape for for all the years yeah. that, you know, they, they get chewed up a little bit. Wow. You have the dual headlights in the front. Yep. That was unique. That, this was the last year? Uh, or, I think, well, I, you, the 86 actually is the last year for that, okay. I believe. So the 85, 86 were yep. the last years yep. for, uh, for what they call the four-eyed four lights. Yep. 
Um, and of course, you had to turn the signals here, and then yep. you, I, you could have had. It must have come I, with fog I, lights. It did come with fog lights. I had taken them out because I was looking for some replacements. Okay. Because yep. the GTs always came with fog yep. lights as standard equipment. Uh, it's a decent handling car, but it's convertible, so it's a little. Uh, uh, yeah, and, and, and it plows for sure because it's it's front heavy. Mm -hmm. But it's still, I love driving it. Um, like I said, I've had it for 35 years now. Wow. Uh, you know, dated my wife in it. You know, I just kind of pull up in a convertible, you know. Yeah. First date. It was, she was impressed. She was impressed. <laughs> so, um, and uh, I'm not, I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do with it. I've got a little more time in my hands nowadays that my kids are grown. Okay. And I'm not sure what to do with it yet. Okay, but Whether, you're thinking you might have some plans for this yeah, car down it's, the road. Yeah, it still has some scratches and door dings that probably need their attention. Things okay. like that. What's one of your favorite memories about this car? Well, let's see. Uh, I think when my wife and I were um, uh, still still alone before kids, taking it on the long road trip right. down to uh, uh, actually this this came from Pennsylvania. We were living in Pennsylvania at the time. We drove down to Virginia Beach and just oh, kind of wow. you know for a nice nice uh, long week. Fun place to be on a convertible. It is. It was. Awesome. Well, Doug, thank you so much for spending your You're time. You're very welcome. And your story and your beautiful car. We sure appreciate thank it. Thank you.